The people have asked for a mono normal guide video and I shall deliver on that. Yo 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 it's your boy TTK and welcome back to another Pokemon video. Today we are going to be doing a mono normal guide for generation 9 mono time. Now I made a guide video on mono ghost if you haven't checked that out yet please check it out. It might be a bit outdated now since Annihilate is banned but regardless most of the things I said in that video still apply to this modern day mono type right now. But yeah the people have asked for mono, um, mono type uh, you know guide so i'm here to deliver but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel join the kingdom if you haven't joined the kingdom already i haven't made much noise about the kingdom sort of thing that i'm trying to pull right now but yeah join the kingdom if you haven't we'll be uploading a lot of pokemon competitive pokemon uh, discussion videos uh pokemon showdown lives all that good stuff so if you're interested in that join the kingdom might as well but either way let's get on with the normal type in generation 9 monotype Alright, so we're going to be dividing the video into three parts. The first part that I'm going to be going over is the options that Normal currently has at his disposal, seeing what sort of Pokemon that we have access to and how we're supposed to build teams. Second part is basically how to use Normal, essentially like I explained in the Ghost video, what options are probably the best to use and how to, you know, make sure they can synergize to the best of their ability. And the third one, I suppose, you know, go into a game or two and show you guys how to basically use the team. But either way, um, let's look at the options that normal has at his disposal right now and as you can see as i click on this and we scroll through the list yeah it's, it's not looking good <laughs> it's not looking good now uh, unfortunately uh, to the guy that actually asked me to make this video unfortunately normal's not one of the best typings I, I know that might be a bit hard for you to hear but normal's pretty uh, near the bottom a lot of people consider normal to be the worst typing right now in the meta even worse than rock and rock already is looking barren in terms of what you have now i do have to say normal has a lot more at his disposal since there just is more pokemon to use but it doesn't mean that quality quantity does not equal quality yeah like you have skulker billy for example you have slacking you have Pokemon like Persian, like you have extra options like that that Rock can't really say it has, but those ones are awful. So, you know, it doesn't really matter about the uh, quantity of Pokemon. Now, I don't like bringing usage into, you know, monotypes into, you know, monotype isn't based on usage, but the fact that there's only three Pokemon here that are, you know, OU by usage and the rest are like UU, and, uh, you know, a lot of these Pokemon are just kind of bad just goes to show that the type is already struggling from the get-go from from the builder perspective like normal is getting builder diffed by pretty much every other type and even even rock is doing a better job on the builder you know so there, there's things like that now in terms of what normal had in the past you know in generation 7 like normal was looking a bit more you know full of life you had megas like mega pidgeot megalopony which is one of the best megas or you know of all time you know that fighting typing really helped out normal you know fighting is strong against five types ice steel rock normal and dark and you know just being able to hit more types super effectively helps normal out because you know normal can't hit anything for super effective so it's really carried by you know certain pokemon that had access to pretty decent you know dual types like uh, you know fighting is pretty strong offensively being strong against five types super effectively is always something that you wanted you had things like z move you know porygon z which was a pretty decent wing con which i honestly loved using because obviously z conversion you get an omni boost all your stats you can change typing as well to get rid of normals you know lack of you know uh defensive utility because obviously normal has no resistances other than a ghost immunity and even in generation 8 when megas were removed hidden power all of that you you know stuff that got removed going into generation 8 you know you still had mons like porygon 2 diggers b line noon indeedy beware obstagoon like pokemon that you know weren't going up to megalophony level but there were still things that you could use that gen 9 would obviously honestly love to have like if gen 9 had things like beware obstagoon line noon it would be an honestly better position probably not gonna be like a top type or even like a, a top mid type but you know it would be a lot better than it currently is right now but yeah let's discuss some of the options that normal you know should be using on you know those sort of teams now looking at psychos are you're obviously like oh this is the shed tail mon obviously normal can't be that bad you have access to shed tail now psychos are shed tailing into some of these guys and i'm just like you know obviously compare these guys against you know what psychos are has on dragon like there's a lot less but you have dragapult you have Baxcalibur, you have dragonite you have garchomp you have roaring moon 
even have things like Hydreigon and Salamence and even Haxorus. So, you know, all of those mons are basically better than anything else that normal has as disposal at this current time. So, obviously, Sakazar's role on normal is obviously worse than its role on Dragon, but it's still the most essential thing that you probably want to be using on normal because in terms of a meta like this where it's so offense heavy having something like shed tail and getting in pokemon that frankly have like no resistances to really make use of any remote bulk that they could even have even if you wanted to use something like the dunsparce like it has a high hp stat you might as well make use of that with uh with a substitute you know so yeah using cyclers is probably one of the best things you can use on normal other mons that do a pretty good job on normal are Mousehold. Now, Mousehold is a mixed bag, obviously, having access to a move called Population Bomb, which is a pretty insane move, seeing how it can hit uh, 10 times in a row with a wide lens, and assuming, you know, you have to run uh, wide lens because, uh, you know, boost accuracy by 10%. And is it 10%? Yeah, yeah, it's 10%. So boost it by 10%, uh, it gets 90 up to 99%, and that essentially guarantees or 90 percent chance of population bomb hitting 10 times now it seems good as well because it has access to a move called tidy up which basically clears all hazards and also gives you a dragon dance so at the same time bringing oh this one is kind of broken but there's one major flaw that holds mouse hold back or two actually but the first one is more important the first one is rocky helmet now unfortunately population bomb is a contact move so um you know you you hit into a rocky helmet and you're going to get killed like you will just die because you know the population bomb is gonna hit more more than you know four five times more uh, more than likely and then you just die because you're taking 12.5 each time from a rocky helmet so that's the biggest flaw that mousehold has but if you if you're lucky enough not to face a rocky helmet user it can actually put in some decent work again it still has a low attack stat which obviously is offset by the fact that population bomb is such a strong move which is to be expected but other than that what other uh, moves of mouse to have access to well it has access to bite which is technician boosted making it stronger than crunch i honestly forgot that i had bite up until today so you know i was running crunch all this time and i was just like bite is literally stronger than crunch so and it also has a 30 percent flinch chance like the hacks in your opponent again you know is always a thing to consider in pokemon you know like it's always something that can happen and you know you can win games because of it and then the last move you have access to well it actually has a decent you know move pool in terms of what it can run u-turn it has super fang it has uh bullet seed to hit ground type pokemon other than that there's not much else you want to run i guess low kick to hit steel types obviously because uh population bombs resisted by steel buy is obviously to hit that uh ghost types which are immune to your population bomb and then you can probably go like uh I'm pretty sure this thing out yeah low kick knock off super fang the fourth move is pretty customizable in my opinion so you're thinking we have a decent start with these two pokemon what really just makes the the type go to like complete garbage well again it's just down to how normal operates like it's a type that isn't really good defensively doesn't have any resistance outside of a ghost immunity and is not super effective against any type like it is going to struggle just because fundamentally normal is a type that isn't given too much tools to work with especially with a reduced roster like this is not a surprise that is one of the worst typings now speaking about some other options specifically the new ones because i'll speak about the older ones later but let's look at some of the new options that normal has access to we've already talked about cyclers uh, we've already talked about mousehold let's talk about our believer here now our believer our first glance you'll probably think this one looks kind of bad or it just looks incredibly mid now it has average stats around the board is bst is 510 which isn't bad by any means but it does just look below average uh in terms of stats it does have a pretty good special attack stat and decent defenses but the speed tier is awful like it's slower than ting lu and i, and I like bringing up the point of ting lu because being slower than ting lu especially when you're a grass type which you can hit ting lu for super effective damage like it, the fact you have to invest speed is is kind of annoying <laughs> for a mon that kind of wants to be a bulky attacker now what does our believer do you wonder you're, you're seeing the move point you're like all i'm seeing is a bunch of green like it only has grass coverage but um you know it has recovery it has leech seed it can actually hit hard with its grass stab but outside of that it doesn't really have anything going for it like the only thing that you know it, it can actually do well 
is that has earth power so it can hit steel types fire types or super effective damage like a grass type having ground coverage is probably the best thing it can ask for you know because grass is resisted by five types poison fire steel do you know what hits that for super effective uh ground like ground hits three of those for super effective damage so it's very good that our believer has access to a ground type move especially one like earth power things like blossom things like that in the lower tiers wish they had earth power for coverage but you know uh, other than uh, earth power it doesn't really have anything else going for it but uh it's still an option that if you'd like to run it like having a good matchup against some of the top typings right now and some of the most common typings specifically water and ground is probably something that you should be considering for normal because you need to get as much advan uh, as uh, advantages as you want you know you need as many as you can get um what other new pokemon really catches my eye I, I would speak about the Dunsparce, but this this one isn't really particularly good, all things considered. But uh, let's speak about Grafia. It's probably the last Pokemon from the new gen that is actually worth discussing or spending a bit of time on. Now, Grafia has access to Unburden, which is a very good ability and has been on, uh, you know, certain Pokemon like Halucha because you can take advantage of the seed items. Now, the seed items, if you don't know, are items that, depending on the terrain that you're using, obviously boosts either your defense stat or your uh, special defense stat. Now, on Burden Activates, when you use an item, doubling Grafia's speed, and it already has 110 base speed, so it's a boomer in speed. Like, this one is very, very fast. Now, obviously, you're probably wondering, what does normal have access to that can set manual terrain? Indeedy. Now, Indeedy has carried over from the last generation, and Indeedy was a C rank Pokemon in Generation 8 Monotype. A C rank Pokemon. Now, in terms of Generation 9, this one is probably like a lot more necessary than ever now because at least in generation eight you had options to bypass you know your weaknesses or you had a lot more options in terms of the quality of pokemon that you have so indeed his niche of you know being a psychic type that's not you know normal that isn't weak to ghost which helps it out and also like a psychic type that needs to be fighting types because you had ways of beating fighting types in the past you still had you know uh beware which obviously would take reduced damage thanks to its ability fluffy which uh you know halves contact moves and things like that especially even in gen 7 you had things like mega pigeon which obviously would handle the fire match so indeed his niche has like not been something that was needed until now now it's needed more than ever because you're trying to help out a pokemon like grafire which otherwise can't really be a solid wing con all things considered because as much as 110 is a fast speed tier it's not that fast you know like we look at the speed tiers of certain pokemon and grafire is like around here now <coughs> it's slower than iron valiant it's slower than halucha it's slower than roaring moon now unburden really helps out with that obviously indeed he activates the psychic terrain you run the psychic seed activate unburden and you hopefully get sd off and you know click gunk shot and uh, you know your coverage options like grafire actually has some decent moves in terms of what it wants to click it has knockoff it has low kick it has doesn't really have any good normal stab really which is the, the the shame but it's not like normal stab is super effective against anything so it's better to utilize the coverage that you're given now gunk show is a very strong you know poison stab move 120 base power you also have knockoff to hit you know ghost types you have low kick to hit steel types like grafire can be a very scary wing con if you give it the opportunity to sweep now obviously you can go low kick or acrobatics acrobatics is obviously doubled if you have no held item which you would have no held item if the psychic seed gets removed so 110 base power you know stronger than stab facade if facade was not boosted and yeah you basically just have a pretty good win con on your hands that normal is desperately in need of because you don't have things like z move uh conversion porygon z anymore you don't like my mouse hold is a decent win con but rocky helmet will just destroy that pokemon or Grafire doesn't really have to worry about that now in dd obviously he's doing the same thing that i did uh, you know last generation you know is a psychic surge mon they can either run specs choice scarf it actually has decent speed tier and a decent special attack stat and it is uh, it is a ghost immunity which helps out because it's a psychic type so it doesn't really it's not really afraid of ghost type teams to be honest it's a psychic type that isn't afraid of ghost which actually is kind of helpful for normal because you can hit super 
you can hit super hard with moves like side kicking uh, terrain. You can hit, you know, things like you just hit very, very hard with this Pokemon, especially if you go with a choice spec set. And it gives normal that breaking power that it desperately needs. Because look at the the roster that we have. We're like, what else is hitting as hard as Indeed on the special side of normal, other than you know potentially Pyro, which is actually something that could be considered on normal because obviously uh, outside of Pyro, you don't really have much to hit steel for super effective. You lost the fighting type, you lost the ground type. So, you know, Pyro is actually something to, you know, consider. But other than that, there's no other special breakers that normal has access to other than Indeedy. So obviously, his niche and demand is much higher than it was in the last generation. Now, I'm going to speak about, uh, you know, the old staples or the staples that have returned for normal right now. And, uh, you know, I've kind of already alluded to this and you've probably already seen this on the builder when I was discussing them. But Chansey and Blissey. Now, these mods have been in every single generation, unfortunately. As much as I would like to say, I would not like to see these mods ever again. But, yeah, these these guys have been in every generation or, you know, spe uh, specifically Chansey has been in every single generation. Blissey, you know, coming to gen afterwards. And, uh, yeah, they're basically just doing the same thing. They are special wolf for normal, you know. Like, having a lack of resistance it doesn't really matter to these guys because their special bulk is so massive. Having no resistance is, like, doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't really bother them too much to be honest and only having one weakness which frankly is somewhat common but at the same time is not common does help out these guys a lot so having these guys on normal is pretty good like would you run both of them probably not but you know you you make your pick they're both pretty much the same viability in my opinion it's just that you know blissey can run heavy duty boots and has see like the the Chansey versus Blissey debate has been going on since generation two or you know when Evia like came into the picture like it's hard to you know say oh Blissey you know is a better Pokemon at least Blissey was the better Pokemon in uh you know gen 8 because it could run boots you know hazards were decently like powerful Chansey was more prone to knock off spam because it had to run Evia like but you know right now on gen 9 monotype you could either run both of them and I'm pretty sure they would be doing the same job uh you know as they were doing in the last generation but i'm slightly leaning towards chancy because at the same time knockoff distribution has fallen tremendously and chancy can keep it every light which makes it bulkier than blissey can be so there's things like that uh, to consider but either way those are some of the two staples that'll come back ditto has come back and ditto is still doing ditto things you know is that anti-offense mon you know you're about to get swept by dd pole or dd dragonite you just bring in ditto and oh they're about to lose the game so the ditto can stop normal from losing a good amount of matchups that it should be losing just because when you see a ditto you can have to play around it you can't go for your setup wing console ditto will just reverse sweep you like it's been doing this since generation five and it's still good at doing what it does it's like it's a mon that will jump tears from ou to untid by end of a generation but especially in this early generation of meta and particularly in monotype uh, where Ditto is only used on normal, there's no way Ditto will ever fall out of favor on mono normal. It's just, it's just a pretty good Pokemon to use. And um, in terms of anything else that uh, came back that actually was decent enough was uh, Staraptor. Now Staraptor wasn't in Generation Eight, unfortunately, and it's back in Generation Nine. But uh, it does have Roost. Now this hurts defensive Staraptor sets because in Generation Seven you could run defensive Staraptor uh, mono normal, and you know you'd have Roost. You have access to Intimidate. Your normal type that's not weak to fighting, so you know you could actually somewhat handle fighting types decently well with Intimidate and a uh, defense investment. But now it's a it's a lot worse for you now, and it would it would be so much better if it did have Roost because back in Generation Seven Staraptor had to ro worry about rock damage, which is a shame because it would also be the defogger for mono normal back in generation 7 so coming on rocks and that would hinder its ability to check the fighting types but at the same time uh if it had boots and it had roost now it would be in such a better position but you know it does have roost it does have defog so you're pretty much forced to run this as like a speed control option or a breaker and it's just a shame really because this one really would have been helpful in terms of the defensive role that you know normal's trying to find on the physical side you kind of just have to go for Braviary now. Braviary shares the same type as Staraptor, but obviously doesn't have access to Intimidate, so it is slightly un unfortunate to be honest. Now, Braviary is bulkier than Staraptor, but the Intimidate obviously made Staraptor a lot more bulkier. But Braviary kept Roost 
and they kept Defog, so you know, it's a, it's a shame for Star Actor to be honest, because defensive would have actually been so clean on Mono Normal. Alright, so we're in the second part of the video now where I'm basically going to explain the team building process behind Mono Normal and basically things like that. So, uh, before we get onto like my own kind of like mindset going into building Mono Normal Generation 9, let's look at a team that the community built on a, a Monotype Creator Community Team event that they run on Pokemon Showdown. Now, this is a team that is built around the core of SD, Grafii, plus Indeedee. Now, I mentioned earlier that Indeedee plus Grafii made a pretty decent core because obviously Psychic Terrain plus Psychic Seed Grafii activates on Burden and you can have a pretty decent win con under your hand. So this is the team that the community decided to come up with. There hasn't really been any other normal teams that have been posted that I've seen. And this is the one that I knew was built around the time. So let's look at it uh, in depth quickly. Now, obviously it's built around these two specific Pokemon, Grafia and Indeedy. It has SD, knockoff or gunks on acrobatics, like I said earlier with Grafia. Pretty standard set to run on an unburdened set. We have Ditto here because Ditto is Ditto. Like there's not much else to really go off of. We have Pyro here with the choice specs. Now, I mentioned Pyro earlier, but I didn't really go too much in depth with it. But I didn't mention that since normal is basically lacking you know that normal ground or that normal fighting that it's had in previous generations it's pretty hard to break you know uh, to come across steel type teams and you're basically just going to lose the matchup now pyro helps out with that because it's a normal type and it's a fire type so you know mostly the fire type aspect of it to be fair i don't know why i said it's a normal type obviously it's a normal type but it's a fire type you know and steel does have access to heat train right now so you get pyro in on steel and it's pretty much picking up a ko every time it's in so uh it's pretty good to have on fire to help out against the steel matchup which is pretty much an auto loss really if you don't have pyro so there's that now we have mousehold here which is like i said one of the new pokemon that can actually win games depending on how it goes uh you know it has it has the tidy up, it has the population bomb, it has the buy, it has the low kick. And then the last one on this team was our Believer, which uh, is running the Elite Seed Substitute set, which honestly does a pretty good job versus Ground, all things considered. You know, you substitute, like you come in on like the Gastrodon or you come in on the Quagsire, you sub, you Elite Seed, you know, and you just 1v1 everything on Ground. So it has a pretty good matchup there. Also, it's pretty tough for Water to handle as well. It's just a shame that normal grass, you know, it makes grass a lot worse defensively because you have that added uh you know uh, weakness of fighting so when you see a mon like Quaquavel you can't obviously stay in on that uh even though it's a water type so yeah there's things like that to consider obviously this EV spread here 92 speed out speeds uh zero invested base 50 speed pokemon things like more wow things like uh Let's, let's go over the base 50s right now that are actually somewhat re relevant right now. So base 50s here we have, uh, Donphan's not relevant. Uh, there's actually not that much relevant base 50s other than like zero speed, you know, King Gambit. Uh, which is something that's relevant enough and also just being able to outspeed zero speed Hippowdon because obviously this is slower than things like Hippowdon and Tinglu so you need that extra speed to you know outspeed them so there's things like that now there's no staples like Blissey or Chansey those are like the only returning ones that are actually worth using but they're not uh, appearing on this team but it's hard to fit you know Blissey on Chansey on like HO offensive based teams they obviously fit better on uh, defensive uh, bulky offense styles which I don't think normal can really afford to pull off right now you just don't really have that synergy with like anything that's remotely bulky on the physical side like as much as you know max hp max defense chance he can take some hits it's still gonna get packed up by close combat you know like you know there, there's not much to really patch that issue up to be honest so yeah that's the team that the community built i'll link this in the description if you want to give it a shot i think it's probably one of the best teams that you could really make normal work with but yeah let's go into my own version of how would build normal right now like what what in my head would really work right now obviously like when i go into a monotype team and i'm trying to build specifically i i, I just want to use the good pokemon really like it's you're going you're already using the struggling type why would i want to use slacking why would i want to use slacking like you really just have to think logically like that if you want to climb and make this uh type work as best as you can just use the good pokemon like please just use the good pokemon like even for electric electric is struggling right now but i'm still not going to be using mons like um 
belly ball and first bro like they might be someone's favorite pokemon but like i'm here to build the best possible competitive team i can for this meta game so we're going to be doing that but yeah um obviously i want to try and fit a ditto in somewhere but there has to be some sort of you know synergy or cohesion or cohesion or some sort of way of like structure for my teams so let's decide we wanted to build around you know mousehold for example this one is pretty easy to somewhat support you know you have shed tail coming in for this pokemon you have you know blissey to handle special attackers things like that so let's say we wanted to bring uh build around mousehold for example like population bomb is a funny move just pray you don't face a rocky helmet or like you know it's just kind of over so you know you have the population bomb tidy up you have bite which is technician boosted don't forget that i, I i'm gonna keep forgetting that you know it's tech boosted and then you have a uh, low kick as the last move to hit steel types because again that matchup is pretty hard for you max attack max speed uh with a jolly nature pretty darn obvious now obviously we're in normal now and i do want to try and fit in the cyclers out here because cyclers are is also you know hazard removal options for normal because uh you know you you don't really have anything to absorb t spikes other than grafire and spikes in general is just annoying seeing how most of these pokemon are grounded other than like common things you'd want to use like braviary or staraptor so Mal uh, so Sakazar comes in, you have the heavy duty boots, you're n you know, your spinner, you want to ignore those hazards that kind of annoy your team. You have rapid spin, shed tail, you have knockoff, you have a pretty good utility move pool, things like knockoff, U-turn, uh, obviously rapid spin and shed tail are pretty big ones as well. Then the last move is pretty customizable, I feel like. You could go body slam, you could go dragon move. Uh, I don't know, what I usually run is typically like... Uh, uh, I, I don't even know why I usually run. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about draft week too much, to be fair. But Body Slam kind of works if you want to try and get a paralysis on something. But Sakazar is usually just a Shed Tail bot, at least, you know, in a matter where she uh, Shed Tail is legal. And uh, in terms of this, you could go max HP, max speed. Uh, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. You're better off just, like, dealing as much damage as you can with the moves that you have at your disposal. Max attack, max speed with a Jolly Nature as well. You're pretty fast as well. Sakazar is pretty quick. I'm pretty sure it's the fastest mon mon normal has access to, which it is. So, you might as well get as fast as you can. Now, in terms of what other offensive Pokemon you could uh, run on normal, I, I feel like Indeed is pretty much a requirement, to be honest. And, uh, you know, it's a, it, it is helpful, to be honest. You know, you're also a Psychic type, which you threaten fighting type Pokemon too, effectively. Uh, we'll decide later on the set that we want to use, because Ditto is going to be Choice Scarf, which is somewhat our speed control already. So you have more arguments to run something like Choice Specs on uh, Indeed and just like blow up fighting types when you see them. So there's things like that to consider. Um, you could fit Pyro in here as well. Or unless you want to try and go a more bulky offense team. But I feel like when you're using Cyclers are like there's no point of really running something like Blissey, for example. But yeah, let's let's continue going down the HO route for now and see uh how good the team ends up. So we're gonna include Pyro here. Now I wanted to go Pyro like uh choice specs here, which might make more of a case to run like uh, you know, uh scarf in dd for example but you could go like a double specs core like just to maximize your damage now we're going to be going specs pyro here with unnerve obviously unnerve ignores abilities especially the fact for steel steel likes to you know counteract fire with uh you know ochre berries because there's no heat trend so you know unnerve ignoring that means you're basically okoing things on steel like i mentioned earlier your fire blast type of voice pyro's coverage is pretty uh, bare bones but th this is all it needs to run all things considered max special attack max speed uh and the last two slots let's actually think about it for a second now you could include braviary or staraptor here uh but obviously i'm going to include ditto here so you don't get reverse sweats for example so yeah D ditto is definitely making appearance uh max uh hp max defense i'm pretty sure it's like that so you like get copied by ditto and then obviously ditto can't imposter over ditto so you typically just go defense to win the struggle war obviously so um max uh hp max defense and that is it really and then the last pokemon uh you can go star raptor probably it's probably your best pokemon to go in terms of just quality because you don't want to be using the dunsparce you don't want to be using like as much as zangoose is my favorite normal type is not particularly good right now uh unfortunately it's just how it is uh and you can go star raptor here now you're probably wondering what's the raptor offering here really there's no roost there's no recovery you can just continue running hro options i suppose like you could go 
bandage you could go scarf scarf is probably better for like an immediate speed control option that isn't a ditto so you can go brave bird u-turn cc double edge like it always has been doing and uh max attack max speed and uh indeed as well you could go a double specs core now i'm already seeing an issue with this team with the fact that there's no hazards so um this is one way of trying to make normal work now i'll be going over the other way soon but it's more the fact that you know um yeah there's no hazards so it's kind of it's kind of dangerous uh so hyper voice i guess energy ball and then shadow like maybe you don't go psychic you probably go psy shock for something like uh clod Psy or you know av iron hands which obviously psy shock hits on the physical defensive side and then uh it's up to you this last move you could run dazzling gleam for dark types though i don't think that's the biggest issue for normal to really be worrying about shadow ball obviously hits ghost types for super effective uh but yeah you could go double psychic stab shadow ball uh, i'm gonna go shadow ball here to be honest uh doesn't really make a difference but yeah unfortunately with this team there's no hazards and uh, in terms of hazards uh that normal has access to well you have the blissy chanty for rocks but in terms of spikes normal has no spikes <laughs> so you're pretty much stuck with running uh blissy or chanty for rocks so let's go down that route the, the route where you have hazards so not the dunce pass <laughs> not the dunce pass okay so you have blessy here heavy duty boots uh with natural cure obviously you have stealth rock uh seismic toss soft boiled and uh you could go shadow ball here for hitting ghost types you know punishing that because that's also a difficult matchup for you to handle because normal types are obviously ineffective against ghost types so you could go shadow ball you could go t wave you could go uh not much else for you to go you don't have teleport anymore which is a shame but yeah it's mostly you could just go shadow wall to be honest it doesn't really matter you go max hp max defense or defense special defense uh, i would probably advise max hp max defense your hate your spadef style is already good enough you can already handle a good amount of the special attackers uh at disposal with just this hp spread or this ev spread uh, apologies but yeah uh other than that like this is going down the more bulky offense route with something like you know defensive braviary and then like running mouse hold uh i guess potentially in dd uh pyro and then i guess you could run uh cyclers are here because I, I feel like ditto isn't really too necessary on this like sort of team structure but you could definitely go like uh maybe not even cyclers are to be fair because like there's nothing here that really abuses cyclers are other than mouse hold so you could argue that you could probably go uh but cyclers are get spin though but very area has defog so there's no point so i guess you could go ditto there's nothing wrong with really going ditto and then uh in terms of what braviary would run is obviously a heavy duty boots angle as well you know because you're weak to rocks defiant it's probably your best ability to run here you don't really have anything that's sheer force boosted and keen eyes a useless ability all things considered so uh you have defog you have access to roost uh i'm pretty sure brave area has u-turn yep and then you can just go brave but this is a pretty standard brave area set to run max hp uh in terms of evs it's pretty customizable i feel um it's a shame you, you can't really utilize cc but uh you know uh, th this is good enough you pivoting with u-turn is probably one of the most important things you could uh have to be honest so in terms of evs you probably want to be running some speed on this but i'm trying to see what you'd actually want out speed because you have 196 speed with no speed investment so i'm just trying to see what is uh relevant for you to actually want out speed that's somewhat slower than you so give me a sec while i figure that out so there's nothing too relevant actually you could just go max hp max defense Unless you want to outspeed, like, like as is irrelevant because like it's just gonna awkward jet you anyway. But yeah, for now you could just get away with running max HP, max defense. I would still have to try and figure out if that's actually worth it. But yeah, this works as a decent, you know, physically bulky Pokemon. Like Blissey, even with defense investment and zero spadef death investment, is still a special war just because of that HP stat and the already high special defense stat. Mousehold, we've been running the same mousehold uh, like since the other teams. It's, it's not changing. This one is pretty one-dimensional, all things considered. In DD here, you could probably get away with running Scarf. You do need some other speed control option that which isn't sizzle i mean ditto actually i don't know where sizzle came from <laughs> don't know where uh, sizzle came from uh that mm, let me think about this 
Uh, Hyper Voice, you could get away with not running Hyper Voice and just go Energy Ball, but having a move that can't hit Dark type Pokemon, uh, I don't really like the idea of that, all things considered. So you could just go Psychic, Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, again, it's up to you guys. It's down to preference, to be honest. And then you could go Specs Pyro to really hit hard. Because, like, Fire is pretty good defensively. So, you know, I mean, it's pretty good offensively. So there's things like that. Flamethrower and then Overheat. Again, Pyro has, like, no coverage to his name. And then Ditto is Ditto. So, yeah. I've shown you some decent play styles or different sort of team builds that normal has access to. It is pretty bare bones all things considered. You will want to be using the same Pokemon a lot of the time. Like I just feel like if you're using things like uh, the rest of these options, you're kind of just worse off, to be honest, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, that is it for in terms of teams. And now we're going to ladder for a bit and just basically show you guys how the teams operate. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I'm on my ult right now. The ladder no I usually run on mono type. I have two ults that I use. But yeah, we're going to hop into a game on the ladder. We're decently high on the elo sort of thing. And we're probably going to lose a bit more because we're using normal. But, uh, you know, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I think I brought the right team. But I decided to use the Blissey Bravey everyone first. Because I feel like this team is a bit more comfortable for me to use. And uh, yeah, so... In terms of this, we're up against Dark, one of the best typings. There's also a Sableye, so I'm assuming this is some sort of Dark screens, even though Grim's now is like the better screener. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, this is probably going to be a tough one, all things considered. Like, Dark is one of the stronger typings, and I, and I don't know, I don't, I don't feel confident, confident really in this matchup. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to lead off with Pyro here, and they lead off with Juggalus, which uh, I'm slower than, and you know like pyro has no bulk life this is specs i'm about to get folded so i'm gonna go out into blissey here which is the obvious play uh good thing about dark is that obviously they don't have any uh hazard removal options so getting up these rocks means they're here to stay and then sableye comes in which i'm slightly concerned about because i don't know what this thing is capable of doing but um things like that so i could go on to pyro if they knock off here fares like again i don't they taunt me which is insane i'm just gonna go for the raw fire blast like even if ting lu comes in they should be taking some decent damage of course i miss fire blast of course of course now i can't even do that much damage to ting lu anymore so that's quite unfortunate because i'm pretty sure sable i was gonna get folded by that all things considered it doesn't even seem like they're running screens so uh they go vessel of ruin my special attack is a lot lower now Still does a solid 29% all things considered. And I do have Defog to get rid of Ting Lu's hazards. So, um, hmm. They're not, they don't seem to be Helmet either. But the thing is, they have a Sableye. Which would have been nice if was dead right now. Because there could have been a situation where I go uh, Mouse Hold, Tidy Up and pretty much win. But the, the game clearly doesn't want me to win. So, yeah. Things like that. Um... I don't, I, I don't even know what to do here because like they just go save like each time and but like the thing is Tinglu gets chipped over time I still have population mom I'll, I'll see what they do here uh they do decide to settle the rocks but I can clear them away with tidy up like we'll see if he's body press if he is body press I just kind of lose but uh cool so you do well with me out ditto comes in this this might actually work in my favor somewhat because if I can whirlwind out the Ting Lu is only bad if they get like Chen Pao in. That's that's the only like bad thing about it. Um, cool. I'm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stuff rock again, and then go Braviary on like the spikes or something. I, I need this Ting Lu gone. Frankly, is it's just kind of annoying. Maybe I could have population bomb this. It would have done some decent damage, I suppose. But uh, yeah. It, it, this is going to be a decently long game just because, you know, I miss, I missed against the Sableye. Maybe I could have clicked Flamethrower. Maybe Flamethrower might have killed, but I, I don't know. I, I will always go for that uh, higher damage in that certain case. Well, that is so jarring. But doing 29, that's actually decent. Uh, so that comes in. I'm going to, I'm going to defog here. Uh, so what the, they just keep winding me out. I do get Mousehold back in. So I am just going to population bomb, hit this, one hit, one hit, three hits, four, five, six. Doesn't seem like they're ruination of EQ. I do get 10 hits here, which is obvious. And I'm going to do it again. Oh, okay, they go save life as. 
they're gonna just continue knocking me off which is kind of annoying um or they just ban me here ah oh, it's a shame i don't have dazzling gleam oh man maybe i should go dazzling gleam on the indeedy honestly because i might have been able to do something in this game with the dazzling gleam but um energy balls for ground types which might not even be too relevant why well, just drop side shock and then go like side shock here to be fair um but yeah I'm, I'm struggling to see a way of getting around this because like they they can knock off the bliss and then they'll taunt me so like there's that to consider i, I think i kind of have to go bravery they do knock off my boots uh doesn't do too much though and they probably burn me or they like taunt here Man, I can't even beat the Sableye because, like, like, I need Pyro to get in, but they just go Ting Lu. But if Ting Lu's gone, then I, I, I do have to play the long game here slightly. They can easily double into Chien Pao here, and I don't really have any way of getting around that, to be fair. So jarring how I'm not Dazzling Gleam. I should have been Dazzling Gleam. Against Dark types, that might have... Okay, so they do taunt me there, as, as expected. Yeah, I can't lie. I'm not going to play this game. Um, that's unfortunate. I'm going to go the other team. Yeah, so as you can see, it's already a struggle and a half to use normal. It's, it's kind of annoying. To be fair, I, I should have been using Dazzling Gleam from the beginning. Just being able to hit Dark types is something that you have to consider uh, when building. But um, yeah, we'll go. We'll try the other team. It's more offense based, but like, why did I have to miss the fire? Like, if I didn't miss the fire blast, I would have been in a such better situation. Like, honestly. What, like, what, I don't even deserve that loss, man. I don't even deserve that. But, yeah, they they are, they do have lock kicks, which is kind of scary. Because that thing just first impressions beats me. Um, they are playing the webs game as well. So, bug. We do have a better matchup here. I'm going to run that team back again one, one more time. So, they do have that. Air Slash doesn't do any damage. They obviously have, like, no switch in for this. Uh, shame I'm not Intimidate uh, Staraptor because, like, this banded first impression is going to do a whole lot of damage. They do go Rabska, which is insane. This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, that's, like, max special defense. And Pyro manages to live on one HP. Insane. So, two of the mons down. Um... Cool, they could easily go sizzle here, they could go fortress. But the fact that I live the specs um flamethrower is kind of insane. Uh cool, let me think about this quick. Because bullet punch is obviously coming out to kill me. I could go in DD to block it and then go out into uh Staraptor here on like the fortress or something. Uh, that doesn't really get me anything, all things considered. I go back into Pyro. Uh, hope they wouldn't attack me here. I get this down to Sturdy. That's probably the most important thing. I get it down to Sturdy. And then I can potentially win the game with Population Bomb. It's just that Sizzle's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But I do have Ditto, so I can not really get Reverse Swept, really. That's, that's a good thing about Ditto. Like, even in a bad situation, you kind of get out of it. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty much just like, who, who, who's getting sacked here? Like, they really just have to think about it because Pyro Speed to being Vazen and Volk is pretty good as well. But they're, they're just like, yeah, this is getting sacked. Uh, I can easily just spin away the rocks if, like, rocks don't really bother me. I could tidy up at one point. Yeah, it does go down to Sturdy, obviously. Uh, gets burned as well. So that's the best case scenario. Like, Fortress can't come back in or, like, double in on something. Uh, I was not expecting the Volt Switch though. Lockix does come out. It, they can't first impression though, so they're gonna forget that. <laughs> they're just gonna forget they can't first impression. This is gonna be the funniest thing ever, honestly. This is gonna be so hilarious. Yeah, so they do sack the fortress. Uh, as long as I keep sacking terrain off, it's not really the worst thing in the world. Like, they do go Scizor. Um, I could Brave Bird. We'll see what they do. Brave Bird obviously does 70. Good damage. They do U-turn on me. Uh, they go out into Lock X. They could Leech Life or not click the Leech Life. Did I add Dazzling on this? Okay, I didn't. They do Leech Life me there. Um, I think it's time for Population Bomb, all things considered. I'm not going to lie. Um, I should get a kill. 
<laughs> I should get a kill. Like Volcarina could obviously come in and you know flame body me. Okay, one hit, two hits, three hits, four hits, five hits, six hits. Easy, <laughs> easy, easy. I think I'm pretty sure population bomb even kills Sizzle, but they go Volk. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this as well. Yeah, even with eight hits and a burn, it still does that much damage, and I'm pretty sure I just win the game. So we'll run, we'll run out, we'll run it up with the other team again, and then see how it goes. I did, add, I didn't, I forgot to add dazzling gleam, or I did that before I started the game. But now I have dazzling gleam on this. Dark should be a bit more easier to handle. But the fact that I just missed, which is the annoying thing, uh, got a population bomb again because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, cause I, I literally I literally just go this and click rapid spin and win the game. So yeah, that's GG. We're up against Water now, which is actually kinda nice. Uh if only I had our believer though, that would have been pretty cool, not gonna lie. But they have no switch into like specs hyper voice. So that there's there's also that to consider as well. Now I don't know if now good question. I don't know if hyper voice kills Pelipper. Like max HP Pelipper. I know Pyro actually hits relatively hard. But, like, it's still something that can obviously, like, survive and then do that. So, Hyper Voice versus Pelipper. Oh, you defend. Yeah, that doesn't even kill. You know, you know how insane that is? But they lead off with Pex. So, this is probably the best thing I could have asked for. We'll see the damage versus him. That is, like, Fizz Death. But that did, like, no damage. Maybe I'm, like, low rolling. But that did no damage. Oh, you the Pex. Uh, that's just Fizz Death damage. Wow. But uh, is that 55? I would like, I'm gonna. Yeah, so I low rolled there. Uh, okay, he's setting up spikes, which is uh, kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I have defog in the back. But I'm just trying to see how I kind of don't fall to Barraskuda right now, because Rain is also kind of hard uh, matchup overall. Because I'm pretty sure. Uh, Scarf Barraskuda with like CC, like opposing Barraskuda won't die. They, they go Rotom, which is insane. Uh, they are leftovers, so they're just giving me another Mon, kind of insane. <laughs> like, just go Pelipper, get out of the rain, and let's get this out of the way. So they go Pex. Uh, Cloyster comes out. Okay, so they do decide to kill me there with a uh, Rock Blast. Hmm, I need to think about this. Because these T Spikes are annoying. I don't mind sacking Braviary just to get rid of these, uh, like, so that, that doesn't do too much. Hmm. Rock Blast does that much damage. Okay. Noted. And I don't really have anything else that really wants to take the hit, because obviously they could Icicle Crash. Um, cool. Let me check something. If Mouse Holds somehow... No, but the thing is, they'll just go like Barraskewed or like Aqua Jet Me or something. Hmm. I, I have to consider this. Ah. Hopefully, you don't Icicle Spear. Yeah, of course, they Icicle Spear. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have any other. I didn't really have any other play to do. Maybe maybe it was just to sack Braviary because I feel like indeed he could have done something, but at least they can't spam, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, Eye Shard. Yep, easy, cool. So Pelipper comes in. I don't know because at least oh they went hard Rotom. Yeah, I mean they they had every right to sack that to be fair. I'm just trying to see my wing con here, cause um, yeah, Barraskuda kind of just okos everything, uh, unless like opposing Barraskuda kind of oko opposing Barraskuda, but I'm not choice banded, so I'm probably not gonna be able to kill. Yeah, that's like 93 max. That is, that is quite unfortunate. <laughs> that is quite unfortunate. I can't kill him. But they decided to go float tool first. Maybe Blissey lives a hit, but I doubt it. So they do wave crash me there. Um, hmm. Wave crash definitely kills Blissey, but float tool, the float tool banded versus float tool, which is not banded. I'm assuming the adamant nature. But the thing is, I'd have to sack another poke. I'll probably have to sack Blissey at that rate then, because um, 
Adamant, Wave Crash in Rain. 72 to 85. I don't like those odds. I, I frankly don't like those odds. But I, I, I kind of have to go for it, I suppose. Unless this has another move that I can run. No. Um, like, please kill. Oh, it doesn't even kill. Wow. I don't, I don't have the matchup at all. Like... So they do CC me there, and then that's just GG. I, I, I can't do anything there. See, so I'll play one more just to really show the futility of normal because um, I'm, I'm losing ELO on this account where I was like in the 1500s. But frankly, I think this team is better. It's just pure hyper offense. Like, it should just be better. But I, I don't know. Like, you can clearly see that normal has its issues. Like, it, it's very hard to win games with it, to be fair. Um, hmm. Let me think about this. Now, Glamora is probably going to lead off because, you know, it has, uh, you know, hazards. So, I could lead off with uh, Specs and Didi, which actually does well. Like, Moongus is dropping. I, I don't care. Moongus is dropping here. Like, I'm facing some low ladder players, to be fair. But, like, against, like, some stronger types, normal really just struggles. But here, I can click Specs side shot for free and, like... I'm getting a kill. <laughs> it's just that simple. I'm getting a kill. Yeah, so obviously Amoongus drops. Um, they really have like no response to this Pokemon. So, you know, normal, normal can oddly beat some other like mid typings, which is kind of insane. But yeah, against Rain, what matchup did I really have to offer? Uh, obviously, Shadow Ball doesn't do anything to me. They do Sludge Bomb me. doesn't kill me. Gengar dies. Yep. But I do get disabled. So, fun. Uh, so much fun um cool so this is this is looking tough <laughs> i have to go psychers are which they flame for thank god i'm gonna body slam here maybe i get the paralysis they do they sub there which is insane to me i i they protect okay maybe i should have gone double edge double edge would have nuked this thing into oblivion not gonna lie but i, I guess i like the paralysis too much but um fuck i'm shed tailing bro I'm shed tailing. There's no way I'm allowing you to do that to me, bro. I'm shed tailing. Wait, tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. I was about to click the wrong move there. <laughs> I was about to click the wrong move there. I want... Yeah, so they have to break it. Population bomb. GG. Mouse hold is actually sweeping. <laughs> okay. Mouse hold is actually doing something. Cool. Clodsire comes in. This might be helmet. If it's helmet, so be it. One hit. Okay, he's not helmet. He's curse. Okay. Well, at least that kind of proved I was unaware. Or I can't even tell by that damage because the percentages are so low. But I'm going to population bomb again. And obviously, Clotta goes down. But yeah, po poison got packed up. I might have to play another one after this. I'm not going to lie. This is some good fun. Um, Bite obviously has uh, the flinch chance. I might as well take it. Uh... Okay, so that does fair. E population bomb might kill. Yeah, it does kill. Wow. This one's insane. I'm not going to lie. Mouse hold's kind of insane when you get it going. I'm not going to lie. One more, one more, one more. And then I'll end off the video. But yeah, no, normal's hard. Normal, normal's hard. Don't don't get it twisted. Normal's hard. Um, but yeah, this is, this is some good fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I haven't laddered with normal, or I, I choose not to ladder with it, it's, it's pretty hard to win games with, but, you know, you get another poison team, these guys are asking to get packed up today, but at least this one has a scan tank, so, I'm in a bit more of a annoying situation, I must say, but, that's fine, I mean, obviously they can lead off with uh, Glamora here, and uh, I'm in a bit of danger, I suppose, uh, I mean, I still threaten them with uh, this, and, um, hmm, okay, so, they could easily go scan tank here, okay, so you do decide to get out of the rocks, Fez, cool, so I'm gonna knock off into the Gengar switch here, bro, this guy's bad, man, what am I even facing? Cool. So I have a I have enough to knock off did thirty three. Obviously he's not gonna kill. Um, I'm gonna 
So they go out into a rever room, break the balloon. No paralysis though, which is kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? Um, cool. So I have to think. Because this one is kind of dangerous. But at least I get the regenerator back in. Like, this guy has definitely the better poison team here. So, uh, I'm kind of in danger. Now, now I'm kind of hoping, I, I'm wishing that I was scarfing Didi. That would have actually kind of helped out. But, um, yeah. No point in regretting that. I still have Ditto in the back, which kind of just packs up his team as well. Uh, assuming, you know, he goes for like a shift gear here. But the shame with Rever Room, like, if he has Bulldoze, then I can beat it. Yeah, as they do shift gear. CC, I mean, CC is obviously my best bet. He resists my dual stab. So, Iron Head. Huh? That kills. Crazy. Um, so, I'll go Ditto here. Let's see what moves he has. He has self-destruct. Wow. Interesting. I was expecting... Flinch? He goes for another shift gear. Is he going to boom? Nah, there's no way he booms. And I'm so faster than you anyway, because I'm scarfed. So, I'm locked in. Obviously, he can't do anything there. I outspeed the rest of his team. And then, I just keep Ditto in the back until, you know, it's time for me to uh, actually win. So, they go Moth. Uh, obviously, I can't do much against Moth. I do want to spin these hazards away, though, as they go for that move. Oh, he scarfed Moth. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Um, that's, that's kind of annoying. And he got the special attack boost each time. Ah, uh, that's... I mean, he's locked in. Pyro should, you know, take two. And then I can just revenge kill. So, Hyper Voice comes out. He gets another special attack boost. He's really just making me stronger, isn't he? Because I can just spam Fiery Wrath versus him. Yeah. He, he just gave me... He just gave me the solution. <laughs> Discharge. S slash... Plus, this is plus four. There's no way this doesn't kill. And I win the speed tie. Let's go. Because, like, what what does he do? What, do, what does he do? I mean, Sucker Punch, obviously. But, oh, he's banded. Of course he's banded. Cool. I'm going to... I mean, he's banded. Like, I just clicked this. Because I can just click bite. Yep, that's dead. Now, whether he clicks crunch or not. Uh, of course, I lose the 50 50. I should have gone, I should have gone uh, this actually. But this is free to spam. Oh, that toxicity is bulky. It all just depends on if I can Oko Skun Tank with this. I don't think I can. Yeah, that's a, that's annoying. That is so that is so bad. But yeah, normal normal's bad. This is pretty simple. Like it's not it's not a good typing. <laughs> but yeah, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. This is the best you can really get out of normal. Unfortunately, like it's just not that good. And I don't know why that toxicity was so bulky. I also think I low rolled on the the scan tank as well. Definitely low rolled on the scan tank. Um, hyper voice did. Uh, 96 max this thing's weak as hell jesus well yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace